hi guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how i cut and sew two s large blouse folding my material into two like this with my measurements i'm going to remove eight inches before i cut the half length the 8 inches I remove, I'm going to add satin on top. I remove 8 inches and measure from that 8 inches, 20 inches. That is the half length plus half inch to sew. I'm going to add this satin on top. That is the 8 inches I remove. From that 8 inches, I measure down this place I mark. That is 10 inches. This is the bust. Bust is 50 inches. 50 divided by 4 plus sewing allowance. This is the half length. Half length is 48 inches. 48 divided by 4 plus sewing allowance. I'm going to cut the back. After arranging the back, I place the one I finished cutting. This is the front on top, the back side, and leave about three inches for zip. I mark. I'm going to cut. I have two yards of satin. So I'm going to cut the front satin to cut 8 inches but I'm going to add like 4 inches that will give me like 12 inches. I'm going to cut 12 inches from the satin but I need 8 inches for the length. I'm going to cut 12 inches because I'm going to place the African wax on top to give me some allowance inside. Shoulder is 18 inches, 18 divided by 2 will give me 9 inches plus half inch to sew. Arm hole, I measure 11 inches. So this is the front. Mark the back the same like the fabric. This is the back. This is the one I'm going to use to sew plinths on the waist. I measure two yards, two pieces. Cut lining on the one I'm going to use in sewing plinths on the waist. So I'm going to cut lining. This is the back side. After I finish doing that, I will also cut for the front. I will do the same for the satin. So this is the back lining. So this for the sleeve, I fold into two. I will fold again to give me into four. After folding it into four like this, I will fold it again and it will give me into eight. Fold into two, I fold again get into four and again into eight. So the measurement I'm going to use for the sleeve is 10 inches plus 1 inch to hem. So placing my tape on where I mark like this, I measure 6 and a half inches, 6 and a half inches, all round, 6 and a half inches. It's going to be a full flared sleeve. I'm going to plant on the shoulder. So this is it after I finish cutting. So I'm going to cut the lining for this is the one I'm going to plant on the waist. 
this is the lining for the sleeve I fold exactly the way I fold the satin and place on top before I cut So as you can see, the lining is exactly as the satin. I cut the front with the lining. This is the front. I'm going to show you when I start sewing. It's going to be like this. This is the front of the top blouse. After sewing with lining, I will place on the satin like this. I will place the satin on top like this and sew. And sew the two sides. To sew now. So I'm going to start with the sleeve. So this is the lining. I'm going to place on top. So I'm going to start to pin the lining and the satin together before I sew. I'm going to pin round like this. I finish with the pin. I'm going to sew here. It's only the bottom I'm going to sew. So when I'm done sewing, I will bring the right side out from the top here. So I finish sewing round. I'm going to remove the pin I use in holding this place then after doing that i will iron removing the pin i'm going to bring the right side out like this so when i'm done ironing i will sew on top here to hold the lining and the satin together so like this is the second slip Finish sewing the second sleeve. So I'm done sewing the two. This is the one I'm going to plant under. This is the one I'm going to sew. I finish sewing. I sew. I place the lining, the lining and the satin together, and sew the bottom. This is going to be the front, the center of the front. The back so I notch where I'm going to sew zip on I will leave like about four inches from this top here to here four inches this way I'm going to sew zip on with the top so I will sew from here down let me sew it so I'm going to start with the top I'm going to so like this, the way it's called. Going to sew down this side and this side. I'm going to do the same to the back side where I'm going to sew zipper. This is the back. I'm going to sew all through. The only part I'm going to leave is the down. Where I'm going to bring the right side out also with this one. I'm going to leave it down. I will bring the right side out from here. So I'm going to sew and show you. After I finish sewing, I notch and I'm going to iron. Bring it the right side out like this. I'm going to iron after I finish ironing I'm going to add that so I finish with the that finish adding that on it in the front so for this one this one that is going to be on top I've not finished cutting this I've not cut the the shoulder of this one
So I'm going to cut the shoulder and the ham. So this one is going to be the top and I'm going to place this on. I'm going to measure the shoulder. Shoulder is 18 inches. 18 inches divided by 2 will give me 9 inches plus sewing allowance half inch. Arm hole. I'm going to cut arm hole up to, up to this place, this fabric. From this satin, I'm going to cut arm hole to join the fabric. So that is why I'm placing it on top here. I place my tape here. I'm going to measure the arm hole. I measure. So I'm going to mark like this. With the back. going to measure neck neckline I measure three and a half inches neckline three and a half inches so I'm going to cut the back with one inch neck I place my tape on the shoulder here I measure down four and a half inches this is the front neck four and a half inches so I'm going to sew like this so what I'm going to do I'm going to sew the neck and for the back so when I'm done doing that, I will come and show you how I place this on top like this. On top and I will sew like this. Okay. So after sewing and ironing, I'm going to place this on top. So I stitch the lining and the satin down. So I'm going to place it on top the center I'm going to iron the center so I iron the center then place it this on top like this like this on top and I'm going to pin after doing that I will sew gently like this I, I will do the same to the back side finish doing that I will join the shoulder so this is the back I finish sewing one side of the back like this finish sewing this so I'm going to pin and sew this is the front so I'm going to join the shoulder This is the back shoulder and the front shoulder. So I'm going to turn like this and use the lining to cross. And so here I'm going to do the same to the other side. After joining the shoulder. I'm going to sew the two sides. This is the ham. I'm going to measure. I'm going to sew the side in this side. So after doing that, I will sew the sleeve. So I notch the down and the shoulder area. This is the arm, the armpit area. I'm going to place where I notch 
on the armpit the side so i'm going to join it here then add plinks on the shoulder area so i'm done fixing the sleeve next thing i'm almost done i'm going to sew the plinks under place it here i'm going to sew zip on the back here i'm going to sew from here down i'm going to leave this side open i'm going to sew zip there so i'm going to plant and notch the middle and the side so i'm going to see where i notch place on the side this one is for the side going to pin this is the the middle and the center I'm going to place here pin so I'm going to add print on on the waist to this side so when I'm done doing that, I will sew zip. On. That will be the end. So I will I will show you when I finish sewing plain on the waist and sewing zip on the back. I'm done sewing the plain on it and the zip. Finish sewing zip on the back. This is it. This extra large blouse. The person that holds this blouse is very huge. So this is it, guys. Is it? I'm done sewing the back, the sleeve. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new, you are welcome. Please subscribe and share this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.